today and now I just got my heat base out of the fridge but it's it will be quite a project to get this ready to eat. Yeah that's my day so far. How was yours? <laughs> it's Friday and I'm excited because we've worked quite a lot the last days and we made this rule that on a Friday and Saturday evening we have date night. Uh, so it is Friday. Hope Alex has an amazing date plan. What can we do? What is like a cool date night at home? Um, we were even we have no television. I was even thinking about getting a television with a PlayStation for Alex. That would be quite fun. Um, or we watch a movie. We could play cards. We both love to play games. And I tried to get this RC ready. Alex said I should use a pocket. It's a workout. For the haters, yeah, we had like 12, but we already finished six. We consume a lot. And now we are getting this as Evo going. Alex said we can use this because that's how they normally do it anyway. Yeah, it's not that easy, right, Alex? Maybe I put a bit from the base uh, for later in here again. Let's see. Okay, and now I can use it. This was quite difficult to achieve, but we put it in the blender and now we finally have a really nice base. I put... Um, Almond butter, cacao nibs, granola, banana, the best. Um, the good thing if you eat as ibul at home, I just finished half the bowl and now I put new toppings um, because I just love the toppings. Filming <laughs> one more couple video, like a spontaneous one, but it's really making us active. Um, stay tuned. Oh my god, I haven't been that sporty uh, for so long. And Alex too, I quickly uh, decided to make him part of this. So we are risking our bed. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, it's the sirens again. So it's getting a bit more, gets a bit more critical here. Uh, just because I'm sharing um, fun uh, inside moment doesn't mean I'm not worried. Um, I'm just doing it to keep us and you guys entertained because um, today I read for the first time that it might be that we're locked on here for six months. Um, so of course that freaks me out, but I try to be positive. We are running out of fresh wedgies. And um, I read so much about like supermarkets that are not taking it serious, etc. So now we are going to a little supermarket which is around the corner, which is an organic one. And I hope it's, um, it's very empty and they are small, they are organic. So it's also nice to go and support them. I was initially planning to share with you um, a Netta Porter delivery today because I got some cool pieces for staying in. Um, but now it seems like it's getting more drastic. So Netta Porter just announced that they had to close the warehouses. So in US, UK, Europe, um, and I think even more places you cannot shop online anymore because they can't operate the warehouses. Even before they had like a skeleton model with like less people working there and now they also had to shut it down. Um, so I panic bought a few items at matches and at ASOS because in case we are staying in here a month I feel like I want to stay comfy. I'm still showing you a few cute pieces I got today because it would be a shame not to show you but at the moment you cannot shop them on Netta Porta. It's weird to say that. You guys know I love Givenchy so I was excited to find this uh, Givenchy hoodie in a cute color, cool color um, so I will definitely wear this a lot. And really cute, better price point is um, from Love Shack Fancy, this tie-dye one in case I feel like I need more color in my quarantine life, quarantine. This one, I was wearing the pants today in the morning and you guys liked it so much. So this is really nice, it's from Lulu Studio. Lulu de Saison is a cool stylist from Paris and I really like her. I know her personally well because she's also doing fashion weeks. So normally I see her all the time. At the moment not so often and this is from Frankie um, I love Frankie also a lot for, um, for suits I'm wearing a lot of Frankie so 
so this is quite cozy too and the lulu one it also comes with like um kind of cozy joggers so this is the matching okay let me try to pronounce it lauren monogian lauren monogian pants i was wearing earlier i'm still wearing this old totem sweater it's really old but i think it's like a cashmere blend and it's my staying in sweater anyways so when we are in london i also wear it all the time so normally i'm wearing like a tank and then i just layer it up and i also got this really chunky cardigan oh i'm a fan by lauren monogian at the end of quarantine i'm sure i know her name and i will pair it if i fancy something fancy i got this cool gucci underwear set and i got some really cool pieces at asos i updated a blog post i did about um staying in wear in case you also want to panic buy some like um less pricey alternatives i found some cute cropped hoodies or easy jumpers and uh, cropped shirts i will update this so now we are going for a little wedgie shopping i actually didn't enjoy the last times we went to the supermarket because um, I get quite nervous sometimes. You From the last videos, you might already have a feeling that I'm like an emotional person. I always have a lot of emotions going on. Um, so when I'm happy, I'm really happy. When I'm excited, I'm super excited. And when I get anxious, I get quite anxious. So the last time we went to the supermarket, we went to Plant Organic and I tried to keep my distance. So I was always like, Alex was at the cashier desk and I was like, too many people, too many people. So Alex was like, step to the side. And then I stepped to the side and then one of the employees came without a mask and without gloves. I was like, sorry, man. And he pushed me. And I was like, Alex, people are not keeping their distance. So afterwards, Alex preferred going shopping alone. But now I'm like, can you take me? Because um, I love wedgie shopping. I just like looking at packagings and be like, oh, a new product. And then I read what it is and I'm like, what could I cook with it? How can I snack it? What could I wear snacking it? So I really like this. <laughs> and we are still brainstorming about what to do today. You guys um, sent me a lot of recommendations maybe. That would be nice to share some of these. Where did I put my phone? Hmm. Hmm. I'm recording on my phone. <laughs> of course, I knew that just because I'm blonde. Sometimes I need to live up to the cliches. Let's see what you guys send me. Every night in quarantine is date night. Okay, that's true. Movie nights, I agree. Themed dinners. Take out the decorations, special recipes, costumes, mm. and make it a surprise for the other. I like this. Order the same takeaway. Get dolled up and have a candle lit FaceTime. But my boyfriend is sitting next to me. Who will I FaceTime all dolled up? Maybe my parents. We can do a puzzle together while eating snacks. Oh, I like that. I don't have a puzzle, but that's cute. At 7 Moscow time, the Bolshoi Theater, Alex can speak Russian, how do you pronounce it? Bolshoi. Bolshoi Theater will broadcast um, Swan Lake on the YouTube channel, so you can have a theater night. Someone is watching The Lord of the Rings with a boyfriend. I fell asleep watching the first time. They were walking through the forest for too long. My concentration span was not handling it. They also do beauty sessions together, like Alex and me. Do yoga. Oh my god, and she's Spanish and she's at home for 17 days already. So that's why she is more advanced. She has a skin dinner, uh, Skype dinner date. I wanted to do some live with friends, but they are also shy like me. I've never done a live in my life in my life. Someone started watching the Star Wars movie series. Tonight is the fifth one. I actually watched most of them in cinema with Alex. I feel like this is someone Greek. Greek dinner night, Greek homemade food. Taverna music, cold beer, summer clothing. Because Alex is Ukrainian, maybe we could do like a Russian night with the vodka and plinis. And what else? Borsch. Borsch. Kartoshka. Kartoshka. But no mamushka. And agurtsi. Uh, maybe do a, um, a picture album together. You guys don't want to see. I would show you, but this uh, phone is recording, so I can't show you. I actually have... Um, 
15, 115,000 pictures on my camera roll. So every time I try to take pictures, I got mad. Uh, massages, vino, that's a popular one. Ooh, taking a bath together. You don't want to see our Notting Hill bathroom. That's not romantic. I get claustrophobic even after showering. So I take short showers. I'm like, I need to leave this room. Someone says maybe doing a sexy dance together. This one is good. Long answer. Taking a bath, sitting across from each other, saying what we are thankful for. I like this. Having a dance party, watching pictures together from way back, doing a pub crawl, but then with food. Start in the kitchen, next the dining area, and then the seating area. And if you're crazy, and up for it, maybe in the bathroom. Again, it's too small, but I like the I like the creativity here. Playing cards and painting together. So I used to be a good painter because I'm very ambitious. So I was not like amazing in painting, but I was like putting so many details that I always got good grades because points for effort, if you know what I mean. And people ask what I'm eating on a daily basis. I feel like it's the only thing I'm doing the whole day, showing you guys what I eat. Yeah, maybe I write some of them down. So. Today I feel like there was not so much, um, but I feel like to really keep this daily vlog going we need to find one topic every day, so today it was like date night recommendations. Maybe it's actually helpful for you guys and in the comments please leave some good date night ideas because you know Alex and I are always uh, living and working together, so now being locked into our apartment it's not like killing the romance, but it's nice to get some new ideas because normally we share traveling together. No traveling at the moment. And now we go get some wedgies uh, to cook something fresh. All geared up. This one's are new. Do you want to hold it? 